In this video, I'm gonna be reviewing Mini Course Generator. Mini Course Generator is a tool you use to create mini courses, whether that's your own courses or using the AI tool to let it automatically generate keyword specific courses for you. You can embed these courses and get people paying for them. I'm going to go over everything you want to know about Mini Course Generator. Now, if you have any questions about Mini Course Generator, go ahead and drop them in the comments below. I tend to reply within a few minutes to a couple of hours and I'll also leave a special discounted link that I'll keep updated so you always get your money's worth. Let's head over to my screen and start this mini course generator review. Here we are in the dashboard of mini course generator and there's really not much you can do so this tool is guiding you and telling you what to do first. So a quick look around, we've got two buttons which are the same, which is create course. And on the right, we've got the AI assistant, typical account details with your custom domain integration, and also the roadmap, which is always really good to see a company incorporate their roadmap to their customers. In the custom domain area, this is where you would integrate your domain name. And before we get into the AI assistant tool, I'm going to manually create a course and go through some of the features with you, and then we'll head over to that. To get started, click on create course, and then name it your course title. It will show a quick start video guide, which is only about a minute, but it's pretty simple, so you're probably not gonna wanna watch it, but for in a minute, you may as well. On the left, you have your widgets. In the middle of the screen, you have your image and where you add extra slides for your course. And on the right, you have your preview and share area. So at the moment, if we preview, this is what it will look like. There's nothing to display. So let's start off by adding an image or video. You have your own library. You can upload your own stuff. You can embed it from YouTube, go to Giphy, or even in Splash. I'm gonna go ahead and paste a YouTube link in and then do add YouTube. Now the video showing. I'm also going to paste in some text here. And if you want to hyperlink things, you can highlight and then add the link in here and then do add. If you want to add a PDF in, you've got the PDF button. And now if you want to look at this, click the preview button. So this is what it looks like now. You've got our link, you've got the text and you have the embed video. Then the next button is this icon here. To add another card, go ahead and click add card, which then points you to the widget area. Click on info and that will add a, another similar slide as what we've just seen. Click on quiz and it shows two different ones, single answer or multiple answer. Let's go with multiple answer. Add your question here and you can even add more options or import options from a spreadsheet. Next, you have your open-ended questions. This is where you'll type in questions and then let them input their own answers. Next, you have the survey and you've got four different surveys. You've got star rating, single select survey, multiple select survey, and numeric input. Let's go ahead and do star rating. And again, you can click on add image or video, go to Giphy, type in rating, and just like that. Finally, you have your gateway option, which will open up in two different features. So you've got the sign up or you've got the Stripe paywall. Let's go ahead and do Stripe paywall. Go ahead and add another image. Go to Giphy and let's just do payment. Then you click the Stripe settings icon and this will integrate your live or your test Stripe account. Alternatively, if you don't want Stripe, you can go ahead and do the sign up feature and let's add another image. So let's just do a sign up, enter your email and then they can input their email. So let's have another look at this. So this is slide one. With slide two, we didn't do anything. With slide three, slide four and then the rating followed by the email. And then that's the quiz complete. Now let's head out of here. Once you've created a course, the course will show here, and then you can download the analytics by clicking the analytics button. And this will show you all the analytics, the date, if it was viewed, any false answers, uh, and all the inputs and email addresses of the people filling out your form. Next to the analytics button, you have actions, which is all the basic stuff like sharing it, deleting it, editing it, etc. So now we're up to the bit where we can, where I wanna show you the AI assistant. Keep in mind everything I just did just now so we head over to the AI assistant tool and we're going to type in a topic like let's say lead generation we're going to do generate course and in a couple of seconds it's generated all of these slides so we've got this one this one step one create content and then we come in and just add all the little slides and minor details that we need so let's go ahead and do preview so it starts off with this and then this and you can see it just does the bulk some of the heavy lifting for us so then we don't need to do anything else and it will show in your dashboard area and it'll tell you if it's been created by the AI or not. Now there's a lot of things I like about mini course generator and there's a few things that I don't like about it. I think the overall interface is really simple to use and 
the learning curve from start to finish takes you less than five minutes. And when you're running a business, time is money, so that's always a big win. Where this software falls down on is the customization of the actual slides. Allowing users to change their fonts or change the positioning of the text or just doing a little bit more with the overall page and the design of the slides will transform this tool to the next level. I also think the AI assistant could use a little bit more work and do a little bit more when it comes to the customization of all the posts in terms of just doing it for us. Because if it's already filling out all the text for us, why not just every slide, add the images and add the extra engagement. I actually think Mini Course Generator has huge potential and like you saw at the beginning of the video, they have a roadmap. So it's definitely on the horizon. I actually think if you're gonna buy a tool like this, you're gonna wanna buy it now in the early days rather than when they finally get to the point where they really streamlined everything, made it perfect and well, ultimately, up the cost. Overall, I actually think they've done a great job here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.